Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share my January Pop Sugar Must Have box, or Must Have Pop Sugar box. I'm not sure how to exactly say it. Um, I guess it's Pop Sugar's Must Have box. Anyhow, this is the exterior of the box, and I cover my shipping info. And this month's box was really pretty neat. I was kind of excited. Um, it, it really got here pretty late within the month. Usually it's like around the 15th that it goes out. Um, I get it about the 17th, 18th. It was like the 24th when I received it. Um, so it went out kind of late. Of course there was, you know, holiday in there. So I don't know if maybe that kind of added to the time delay. Um, there was a Monday holiday. So I don't know. Anyway, it finally arrived and it's been sitting on my dining room table for a good week now waiting for me to make a video on it. I am really, really behind um, video wise. So let me go ahead and just get started. And as always, you can go to my blog and see pictures or better pictures of the items. Um, I try to photograph them and put them up there for you guys to see, as well as um, December's box. I did not do a video on December's box, at least I don't think I did, um, but I did do a blog post. So you can see that box there. But for the January box, um, first up, and this was what jumped out at me, and of course my, my daughter is like standing over me as I open these boxes. She was in love. She was like, a ball! It's super cool. But first thing, and it came packaged like this, and like I said, we've already ripped into it. Um, but the first thing is the Scott Pilates Stability Ball, um, which I have wanted a stability ball for some time now. I had one at my dad's house uh, before I got married. That was, what, we're going to be married eight years now. Um, eight years ago. And I used to use it to work out. I loved it. I liked using it like when I was watching, you know, a television show or something you could do, you know, your workout there. My dad loves it. He loves it for working his back out because you can do like back bend on it and it really stretches your your lower back. And my dad has uh, back problems too, which is probably why I have mine, so it might be inherited. But I've wanted one for, you know, all kinds of uses, just not only for stretching, but also um, ab work. I really do not like to um, do sit-ups or anything like that. They kill my lower back. It doesn't matter how I do them. I have been coached on how to do them properly. Any way that I do a sit-up or crunch um, or leg lifts, my lower back the next day and for the following week, I literally, I mean, it's painful. Um, so when I do them on a stability ball, I don't really get that pain. So I just like that for abs. And so I'm excited now because I can focus a little bit more on my abs. You guys know I really do my cardio and I like to do my, you know, arm workout. You can see a little bit of my bicep there. Um, this one is smaller than this one. I don't know. And, you know, I like to do my weights and I like to do my legs. I really kind of skip over my abs. I kind of ignore it. I am one of those people that I really thought with cardio, you know, you just, you lose so much of your body weight that it keeps you, you know, thin. And there's a difference between being thin and then, you know, having a stomach that is, you know, flat, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, and mine, I, I'm not saying I want perfection or anything like that. It's just, I think the skin is really loose from having two babies and the tone is just not there. So I really, you know, ignore it. I like uh, whatever, you know, I ignore it as long as my clothes fit and everything, I'm happy. But I'm excited that I will get to use this to um, help kind of, you know, in my workouts and stuff. My kids were a lot more excited about it. Um, so it came with its own pump and after, it's a hand pump. After sitting there for literally, it took me 40 minutes to blow it up. After sitting there for 40 minutes, pumping this ball up, my husband looks over and says, you know, I've got an air pump in the garage. And I'm like, really? Thank you for letting me know that because what took me 40 minutes would have taken me four seconds to blow up um, with his air pump in the, gar in the garage. Anyhow, you know, it's one of those big air pumps that you can put um, air into tires with. But here's the ball. It's huge and it's awesome and we are in love with it. <laughs> my kids have played with it. Um, immensely over the past couple of days. So there is that. Next is, this was a surprise, um, a watch. And it's called the Remix Time Bomb by Remix Watches. And there's the exterior. It's a huge watch. And I really, I like it um, because it's sporty. You know, my watches, the ones that I have are like this one. They're just not dainty, but a little bit more, you know, dressy, I guess you would say. Like, here's this one. I'm not going to put it all the way on, but you know, it's got like diamonds around the face and stuff. So 
it looks good when I'm dressed up, um, and you know, sh silver. Looks good when I'm dressed up. However, when I want to just be casual, or you know, I can't wear this to work out. Can you imagine working out with that? Okay, so to be casual, I really don't have anything, and this kind of fits into that category. Actually, my husband was looking at it because he kind of, you know, he's a watch fanatic. Um, he likes his watches, and he knows a lot about <laughs> watches. So he was like, "Hey, I kind of like that. You know, maybe if we get a different band, I can have it." Um, but you're supposed to be able to pop this out and switch up. Yeah, see the silicone comes off completely. So you can switch up, see that? You can switch up the watch and you can also do like separate bands. Um, but really neat, just, you know, pretty sporty. Now I won't be able to get it back in. Um, but update your look with a fresh and functional new accessory for the year. Remix Time Bomb watch comes in a variety of fun colors. Silicone straps are durable and super easy to keep clean. Um, don't worry about getting left in the dark either. There's a secret button hidden to the right of the winder to activate the LED light. Come on now. Oh no, please don't tell me this is one of the watches you have to wear. I hope it's... I, okay, I, I like watches. I don't like watches that you have to wind. I know, and I know that most of the really nice watches are watches you have to wind. I, I don't like it. I, I like want a watch with a battery that you know I can not wear for a week and not worry about it not you know working. I think this is one that you have to wear constantly or keep in a watch winder. Anyway, so really really neat. It's huge. Look at how big that is. I have very small. I have puny wrists to begin with. Um, look how big that is. Okay. So there is that, which is really, really neat. I was excited about that. The only way I could have liked it more is if it had been pink, because obviously I'm a pink fanatic. Next would be the Epicurean Discovery Lip Balm, which looks like this. It's a very big jar of lip balm. And I actually, I like these. Um, I like to keep them next to my bed. I have not opened this one. It says tea tree oil with SPF 15, uh, which scares me because it doesn't smell like SPF though. Usually chapsticks or lip balms with SPF will taste like SPF no matter what they do to it. So we'll see about this one, but there's that. Next, pop bar hot chocolate on a stick. And I saw these, hi honey, hi baby. You see them? <laughs> I saw these um, in a magazine and thought they were super neat because all you have to do is get a mug of chocolate, of, of chocolate, of milk, um, Warm it up. Hey, warm it up, and then you you put this in there and stir it, and it makes hot chocolate. And I think that is so cool. So this one is milk chocolate on a stick, and this one is dark chocolate. Um, which I have to tell you because I don't drink milk. I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't have milk. Um, my husband and my daughter are going to really love these because they'll be drinking that. Unless there's a way to do it with um, almond milk. I really don't care for soy milk. With almond milk, I might try it, but. I think I, I won't waste them and just give them to my husband and my daughter, so they'll like that. Um, and then Jet Puffed Vanilla Mallow Bites. They're called Vanilla Mallow Bites um, from Kraft, which are super cool. They are the cutest little, and of course my daughter tore into these already, cutest little bitty marshmallows. Um, they're adorable. And actually, I think these are going to be my son's rewards for um, doing things. Because I did this with my daughter, like when I potty trained her, she had little rewards for, you know, going potty. Little treats or something, or a little car, you know, toy or something. Um, and this, I think, is going to be that, like that for my son, because he loves these. And it's just, you know, when they do something, I hate to say it, but it's like, you know, with a dog, you give them a treat for doing good things. It's kind of the same concept with your children, only because it's you know a positive reinforcement for doing something um but of course you don't do it every time because then it's expected and i hate to say it but that psychology i got from um dogs that i've had and had to train anyhow it's really sad to compare your children and their training to an animal but anyway so that is what these are going to be um because i'm trying to get my son used to the idea of potty i'm not putting him on the toilet yet but you know every time i go you know mommy goes pee -pee in the potty and i tell him and you know or poo poo in the potty and he sees you know and when i change him i say poo poo in the potty you know like trying to just teach him about it so when he's interested in it or he'll tell me 
you know, pee pee, potty, like he's trying, you know, beginning to associate them with that. Um, that, and then also the other thing he does is he will clean up whatever mess he has made. And that, you know, my daughter never really did that. I had to tell her to clean it up. He will clean it up. Like if he's eating a lollipop or something, he'll take the wrapper and throw it away. And, um, you know, I'll say, thank you. And I'll give him here, you know, like something as a treat or something. So, okay. I went off on a tangent. I know. I tell stories. Okay. Think thin bars. Which are these. Oops. Think thin bars. And there's three of them. And get your snacking off on the right foot with these think thin bars. This is a divine dark chocolate coconut. Um, six grams of protein, 10 grams of sugar, eight grams of fiber. Leave those alone, brother. Think thin crunch, caramel chocolate dipped mixed nuts. And nine grams of protein, six grams of sugar, four grams of fiber. Pretty cool. And then I think my daughter was eyeing this one and my husband has been eyeing this one. Think Thin Creamy Peanut Butter High Protein Bar, zero sugar, 20 grams of protein, and it's gluten-free. This one is one that I've been eyeing because the protein is 20 grams. That's pretty good. Um, I do protein in the morning for breakfast. I put it with my oatmeal or I'll drink it in a shake. And then again for lunch, um, I always have a high protein lunch. And then again, um, dinner, I usually have a light carb and protein. Um, and these, you know, like you can use them as substitutes. Of course, I'm not saying just eat this and that is it for lunch. You have to add something else to it. But anyway, that's a different video. Cassette a gram. No more messes, Bubba. Cassette a gram voucher. Cassette a gram. Cassette a gram? I'm not sure. Bring your photo album on the go with this $15 gift certificate to Cassette a gram, the first social design platform to make cases for your phone or tablet. Pick from your favorite Instagram, Facebook, or personal pictures to create a customized collage. Um, layouts and filters face every time you grab your device. So it's for, what is it for? A customized collage. Okay, that's what that is. Not sure. Yeah, figure it out later, right? Okay, and um, that is it. It's got a coupon. And then for the stability ball, some little instruction, you know, workout. And this is neat because I can put this in my living room where my television is. Um, and it's there for reference when I'm in there, you know, doing nothing. And that's my thing. I kind of, that's it. The box is empty. Um, I schedule my workouts. I do my workouts every day um, after I get home. Pick my kids up from school, you know, and I do my workout. And then I cook dinner. And then, you know, if I need to, um, I'm doing the Jamie Eason bodybuilding for the second time. I did it last year for the first time and loved it. Um, and I did it last January. So... This is my second go around with that. Um, I, the only reason why I stopped doing that was because I got Turbo Fire. And so this time I'm doing Turbo Fire and Jamie Eason's at the same time. Jamie Eason's, you're focusing on one, like it, it basically it's teaching you how to bodybuild, how to build your muscles. Um, so every day it's a different set of muscle groups that you work out. So like today is chest and tricep day. And um, I'll do that. And then after that, you know, I kind of go through my house and clean whatever needs to be cleaned. And then it's just like my time, you know, whatever I want to do until it's time to put my kids to bed. And usually that's just, you know, veg on the couch with my husband for an hour or so. Um, and I like that I'll have this to reference because I can just grab that and, you know, stability ball and stretch or, you know, work out a little bit. So that is my January uh, box. I'm loving it. Um, honestly, you know, I'm excited to try these Think Thin bars for one. I'm also always open to new protein bars or new, you know, snack bars, stuff like that, because these are just easy for when you're on the go with children and they are, mommy, I'm hungry, you know, always, because it's easy, it's easy to just grab a drink for them when I leave the house, but it's not always so easy to grab a healthy snack. Hey, I'm talking, you're being rude. You <laughs> like that look. Why are you being rude? You're not supposed to be playing with the oven. You're not supposed to be playing with the oven. I had to take knobs off because he turns my oven off. Anyway, so that is that. Um, the watch, which is really, really neat. Yes, honey, I'm coming. And the stability ball, which I love. So anyway, I will put um, the link to my blog and then also the Pop Sugar link. If you're interested in that, you can always read about that. Um, they are $39.95 a month. And honestly, every box that I've gotten so far, I don't feel like I wasted my $39 that month, my $40 that month. Only because... 
there's always something. There's always, you know, one or two things even that I'm in love with. I mean, my um, scarf, my gray scarf, which I love, I love and I wear so much. Yes, and then those Bodum coffee mugs last month that was my December box. Love those! And my husband, we're always fighting. We're going to have to buy more of those mugs because we're always fighting for those two mugs. And there's only two of them, so we need at least six. We're always, I mean, it never fails. My husband's like, you got that mug? I want that one. Give me that one. Or, you know, even just to drink water. He's like, I want that glass mug. I want my water in that. It's, you know, we're always going back and forth. So anyway, say bye. Say bye. Bye-bye. Tell them bye-bye. Okay. That is it for this month. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.